Hey, welcome back to North Coast Logging, episode 101. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to follow along with the series, go ahead and hit uh, subscribe. We got, uh, well, over 100 episodes now in this series of, uh, in the start from scratch series, I should say. You know, just building up a logging company from nothing but a truck and a chainsaw, all the way up to a full blown, fully equipped logging company that we have now. And, uh, you know, making a couple hundred bucks at a time, all the way up to making tens of thousand dollars at a time. Not anymore, because I'm doing it by myself, and there's only so much I can do in uh, a certain amount of time. So, let's hook up our, uh, to our trailer here. Oh, look at that. We should have grabbed that log when we were doing firewood last episode. I missed it. Well, let's uh, grab our trailer full of chips here. Oops, I am way off and uh, run down and sell that. This trailer is funny the way it works. It seems like the cover should be on now. But after we unload, it'll the cover will probably close, and then we'll be loading it full of chips through the cover. I don't I don't know what's wrong with that. I probably did something wrong, pressed the wrong button that I haven't realized. I'll realize it in ten episodes from now when I finally figure something out. But nothing I can do about it in the moment. Remember it was a couple episodes ago, five episodes ago, when I had trouble, I could not figure out how to get this thing to sell. Yeah, that problem was pretty stupid. All I had to do was press G on the keyboard to switch from truck to trailer, and it would have worked. It took me like 30 minutes to figure it out, so obviously I'm not that smart. Harvest income. Yeah, that's right. We harvested those trees, we turned them into wood chips, and we're gonna bounce on down here through the ditch because we've got a big enough truck. Yeah, there we go. And Giants Physics will let us do it, so we're going for it. And just like I said, look, we unloaded it, now the cover's on. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. I wonder if I press control I if that would take the cover off and we could get it on the right cycle. Oh ho! There we go. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I thought maybe. But nope, it just pops right back on. You know, in 101 episodes, there's only 3.5 hours of time on this truck. That's kind of funny. I expected it to be higher than that, since we seem to use it constantly. All right, let's go pull up there, because I think our chipper truck is full, too. Oh, not full, but um, it's unloaded anyway. All right, let's jump back in this truck. Leave our trailer there. Let's uh, drive out to Moose One so we can do some more work out there. Take our uh, 
a logging road that we cut in 10 or 20 episodes ago. I don't remember how many. Yeah, let's get out here. Go park this rig. Okay. Now, of course, I put those in a rather inconvenient spot, considering we need to maybe do some skidding. Yeah, I think skidding is what we need to do. All right, let's first move this thing. So we just parked it here as soon as we were done. So let's get this backed up out of the way. Look out our tiny little back window. piece of equipment out of the way. Now, is there enough room that we can back up the skitter? Yes, maybe we can finagle our way out of this situation that I created. Alright. They're pretty maneuverable for how big they are. Can I fit between that deck? Yes, we can. All right, there we go. Awesome. Why am I stuck? Oh, because my blade was down and I hit a stump. Okay. Now we're moving, making progress. Oh yeah, that was the bunch that we ignored two episodes ago, because it's a mess, and I didn't want to grab just two trees at a time, but I think we're going to have to do it right now, and then come back for the rest of it. Unless I'm able to grab them and clamp them down tight enough where I can push them back. Can we get all of them? Or around all of them? Maybe we can. Oh, not quite. I think we missed two. It might just be too much for this grapple to handle. Yeah, we missed a few more. Oh well. That's enough. We're gonna go with that. We'll grab the rest of them on the next pass. I think we got four or five. That's pretty good. Do you guys like the... Uh, holy cow, what is happening? Something is not right. What the heck just happened there? All right. I don't know what that was. What was I going to ask? Oh yeah, do you guys prefer the swing boom skitter to the uh, the grapple skitter like I use? I know it would be easier for situations like this where you could just kind of swing them off that way. Make it easier to build a, a cleaner log deck, but... Yeah, if you use that one and you think it's better, let me know. I've always liked this one just for the simplicity. Let's see if we can straighten out that grapple a little. That's a little better. I wonder if that'll help fix that weird physics thing we just had going. All right, let's grab the remaining four trees from that bunch. That was a big bunch. 
Oops. Okay, let's uh, drop the blade and push those into a closer compact pile. Oops, didn't drop the blade soon enough. There we go. There's a balancing point. If you drop the blade too much, it lifts the front wheels off the ground and then you can't, can't steer while you're pushing. sloppy half bunch over here. Well, let's just go ahead and take care of that. Wow, didn't even get one. There we go. Back up a little bit. Not doing myself any favors on this one, am I? Okay, got one. Where's the other? Actually, is that another one? One of those junk trees? I might just drag one down there. What a waste of a trip. Skinning a single tree. Push it where it belongs. Okay, back up the hill we go. Did we get him? Yeah. Uh, looks like we missed one.
We have a whole other stand. Moose 2. Still to cut. Now we still have trees we need to drop on Moose 1. This was a massive, massive timber sale that we got here. some water. I don't know what it is about logging and farm simulator that's so appealing. You're just doing the same things over and over. But, I don't know. Something about it. I suppose it's probably not dissimilar to you do the same things over and over in flight sim or truck sim just constantly trying to get a little bit better at one thing or other make a neater deck be more proficient with the skitter more proficient with feller buncher no flight sim learning how to fly uh, uh, VFR versus IFR learning the SIDS and STARS and you know all of the procedures for different airports and airspaces and trucks and just being able to back a trailer I mean really that's the main challenge there which I do find truck sims gameplay to be a little bit shallow and I wish that they would expand it and bring more simulation features into it because I, I saw somebody describe it somewhere as a uh, tourism simulator and I'm like that's not that inaccurate you know there's so many sim features of trucks that I wish they would bring in, but even just dirt. At least they did uh, update the wear and the uh, used truck features. I just haven't been able to bring myself to get back into it and do some driving. Um, if you guys want to see me do some ATS videos, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. I could throw some of those out there. I used to play it a ton. I've got something like over a thousand hours into that game. But I just got a little burnt out. But I can make some videos if, if there was interest. And I've been meaning to get back into doing some flight sim videos. I just haven't quite got around to it yet. If you want to see me do some of those, let me know. I was always uh, big into bush flying. I wasn't so much for the airliner stuff, but yeah, let me know if you want to see some of those videos too. Or if you're all about the farm f farm sim videos, you want me to just keep it just this series. That's going to be a mess back there. I don't know how well that's going to work. We might end up with some weird physics stuff going on here with that grab. That's a pretty bad one. We got two hours on the skidder and only three and a half hours on the truck. <laughs> it means we must have more on like the processor or something, right?
See if we can grab that one and back up a bit more to grab those other two. There we go. That worked out nice. We can leave that one junk tree laying there. Eventually we'll take care of those probably with the uh, firewood trailer or something. I just don't feel like grabbing them and dealing with them for uh, this. For skidding and processing. Definitely gonna have to reposition those. Those didn't land anywhere near where we want them to be. There we go. See if we can get them all. It's a big bunch. That looks like most. I'm gonna settle for that. Too much more room to fit any more bunches in here before we're gonna be well not have enough room to uh, maneuver with the skitter before we run into the processor which is good since we've been skidding for I don't know what 15 minutes straight there is an end of the skidding in sight maybe three of them. Reposition slightly. Drop them again. Let's see if we need to turn this thing a bit. Let's see if we grab more than three. I think that was pretty good. Ended up with some big bunches back here that I really are pushing the limits of the skitter. 
I must have been feeling ambitious with the uh, the feather muncher. Let's go do one more bunch. I'm afraid we're going to start knocking trees into places that we don't want them to be. If we don't get to processing soon. It's a mess up here. Let's go grab one of those farthest up bunches, just so I can get some idea of what we actually have left. Not a ton. Like, maybe four more bunches and then a bunch of scattered trees that we just need to neaten up. neat bunch for me here too finally something better look at that beautiful yeah because there was one more bunch up there behind us there's this bunch here so it's two I think that's just a single tree there yep so two is there actually a bunch right here, maybe? That kind of looks like one with a single tree line on top of it. Yeah, there it is. So three. Three and a bunch of random trees. Whoa! Uh, yeah, three bunches left. And some random trees laying around. That's pretty good. That was so much... felling that we did for a couple of episodes. It's funny how fast I can whip through that in a few episodes, and then takes me five episodes to get through all of the skinning and processing, or more. That's a pretty cool shot. Let's grab that one. Let's grab one more. Maybe from above. That's a very cool shot, isn't it? I'm actually gonna... Hide the HUD. So we can get an even cleaner one. Because that looks really cool. Alright. Oops. Wrong button. Let's, uh, whoa, my track IR got way off. Okay. Drop those. Turn around. Oh, look at that mess. Try and push them somewhat neater. We're just running out of room. Here 
There we go. Let's go park our skitter over here by our truck. Shut her down. So let's see here. That's quite a few trees that we're gonna have to process. Yeah, I think that'll be the end of this episode. We'll pick up processing next time. So thanks for watching. See you then.